What's up, fam? I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex. You're on my show every Monday. We do for you called Protein Power, where we talk about everything regarding your nutrition, the stuff you want to know to get your goals, whatever they may be. That's what we do on the show. Today, I'm going to dive into wellness prep. Nutrition. It's a question I've been getting across the board for a while now. You guys know wellness has been around. It's been bumping. It's pumping. People are competing. People are doing wellness. And people have been asking me, what is the key to the prep nutrition? What do you need to be doing? Should you cut calories fast? Should you go you know, slower? Do you need to do low carb days? High? There's so many damn questions I got. And so I figured, you know what? Let me rope it all into one video for you right here where we'll just dive into it and get straight to the point. Also, like I said, this is just one of my five shows I run all week. This one's about nutrition. We talk about training, prep, all other things all week. It's exactly why you might want to consider actually just going ahead and subscribing to my channel. And if you get anything out of it, seriously, help me out and share the video because I do this all for free, all for you to help you get better, get where you want to be. That's what we do. All right, fam, let's dive in. Wellness, prep, nutrition. This, um, you know, it's, it's a conundrum that people run into. They don't know what to do. It's a new division. You know, it's not really easy to sit there and Google your way to finding a meal plan like people love to do for some reason. Don't do meal plans in general, okay? But the point is, you know, it's a new division. It's been going on across the world for a while, but it's just coming to the States for the first time this year. And that means that a lot of people are getting involved. They don't know necessarily what they need to be doing, how they need to be doing it. First, I want to cover for you exactly what the wellness division is in a very short little bit right here. Just to make sure you all know what I'm talking about, all right? <laughs> Most of you have been watching my channel will know what wellness is, but some of you are new here, I know. So, wellness is the newest addition to the NPC IFBB Women's Divisions roster, okay? And basically what it is, it's a more lower body dominant version of bikini. That's kind of the easiest way to sum it up. It's not bikini, it's not figure, it's right in the middle in the sense that there is more muscular development going on on these females lower body upper body we're looking generally the same as bikini okay that's what they want to see and conditioning wise it should be the same as bikini we've been seeing a lot of you know some competitors coming in too hard this year and i've actually now known that you know a lot of the judges are going to be hammering that down if you're too lean in this division they're going away from that they want you to be at the same level of conditioning as bikini, okay? Where it's very different now is in the lower body. It's not the same as bikini in the lower body. Wellness lower body, a lot more muscle. More muscle in the quads, the glutes, the hamstrings. You know, the lower body is just dramatically more developed. And when you put them side by side, it's very easy to see. And I know a lot of people say, I don't really see the difference. You know, the stuff I see in comments or people telling me, even coaches saying that, which I'm like, what are you even doing coaching then? But uh, if you don't see the difference between wellness and bikini, it's basically because you're not paying attention enough to what's going on in the sport because when you put these competitors side by side, drastically different what we're going to see, all right? Again, similar divisions, but again, drastically different and the criteria is different. You have to be able to fit the criteria to each division. In other words, you shouldn't really be able to cross over between these two things unless you're kind of right in the middle and you're probably not going to be able to compete at a high level being right in the middle, okay? So that's something to consider. When we want to talk specifically specifically about prep nutrition now. We gotta look at what we know about this division, right? More lower body muscle than bikini. Uh, similar upper body, same type of style conditioning for bikini, which is a softer conditioning, by the way. We gotta look at all these things and how to actually rope a prep nutrition in. And we'll cover all that in just a minute right after the break. One, two, three. If you guys are looking for wellness workouts or information on nutrition beyond this video, make sure you check out that free trial, all right? Put those in here just to show you a little bit, but the real thing is so damn much better, all right? So head over there, check that out. Okay, so if we want to talk specifically about nutrition now on prep, 
in wellness. Well, we got to talk about what the goal of prep is first, and then we're also going to hit on what the actual physiques we're talking about and the requirements here. The goal of a prep, ladies and gentlemen, is to cut down. You got to lose body fat. You got to get to the right level of conditioning, in other words. I know a lot of people think that you only need to get a coach for prep or, you know, you only need to have this prep phase of 12 weeks or blah, blah, blah. You could go from never competing to show ready in 12 weeks. Well, you would have to have some serious muscle already put on your frame, no matter what division you do, to be able to do that. Because when we talk about just doing a prep, we're talking about actually just dieting down. In other words, during a prep, you have very limited amounts of time where you can actually put muscle on, right? Because if you're dieting, you're not putting muscle on, ladies and gentlemen. I know that people think that this is something that's done and it happens and it does work and, you know, all the science is wrong. Well, if you look at the real science, you know, if you're in a calorie deficit, which is required lower calories than your maintenance to burn body fat, we got to get to stage conditioning. We got to be at a low enough body fat, so we have to be in a diet. Well, if you're in a diet, you can't be building muscle, which requires you to have a surplus of calories. So you see right out the gate, these things are mixed up, and this is important you understand this, you know, regarding nutrition on a wellness prep, because you have to realize if you're dieting, you're dieting, you're burning body fat, your muscle goal then becomes to maintain, not lose muscle, lose as little muscle as you can on a prep. That's the goal. You're not going to add new muscle, though, unless you're in a caloric surplus. And that's something you really got to understand, ladies and gents. These two things conflict. If you're in a surplus, you're not burning fat. And if you're in a deficit, you're not building muscle. Understand that. Now, a lot of people will say, well, what about the fact that you look more muscular, right? I start seeing more muscle. I feel like I'm building more muscle. My shoulders are popping. You know, I'm getting different lines on my body. My abs show better. Hey, yeah, you're seeing more muscle because you're moving body fat. But that muscle was there. It's not getting built. You're not building. You're not adding new muscle, right? So you got to understand that. You need to have the right phases. This is why I always say competitors train 365, all right? Even if you're in a off season, I call it improvement season because you should be instead improving your physique, building all the muscle to go into prep and cut down, all right? So understand that right at the gate. Prep nutrition is dieting. You're burning body fat to get to the right level of conditioning. When we talk about wellness specifically, we're talking about more muscle in the legs, okay? Lower body dominance here, more muscle than bikini. Very similar muscle to figure without the conditioning of figure, all right? So you gotta have that. You gotta be able to have that on stage. And more muscle means Guess how we gotta approach this diet? We gotta do it at a slower pace, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of people wanna dive into a prep and they think the best thing to do right out of the gate is go from eating, you know, 2,000, 3,000 calories in your off season to now 1,000 because you're on prep. Well, that's the wrong approach. Your body is gonna burn muscle a lot if you do that approach, ladies and gentlemen. You go into too severe, of a caloric deficit, you're burning muscle, all right? And this becomes a problem in wellness because then all of a sudden, you're on wellness stage looking like you should be in bikini because you burnt off all the leg muscle anyway. And let's not forget, you can burn body fat quick. You can burn it all, you know, very easily compared to actually building muscle. If you're building muscle, it takes years. It takes sets. It takes reps. Most of the wellness, you know, the top wellness athletes have been doing this for years. They've been doing it for years and years, and that's why they have this development. All right, it takes time to build muscle. As much as people think you can do this overnight or in the span of a few months, it takes years to build a quality foundation of muscle like you're seeing in the wellness division. Okay, you can definitely do it and get out there and get on the amateur level stages and do that type of stuff and you know work your way through. But you're gonna have to go through phases of prep, build, prep, build, so on and so forth as you go, taking your feedback, getting better. But like I said, when we're talking about nutrition, your main goal should be to diet as slowly as possible because you're going to preserve as much muscle mass, all right? So this means keep your protein intake higher than you think you need, all right? I always put people, you know, in general, one gram per pound of body weight because that's higher than they should probably need since we're talking about, you know, you should really be at more like one gram per pound of lean body mass. I always put people up a little higher. And, you know, with a certain athletes, I might do even more than that. Have them at a higher protein intake because this helps preserve the muscle mass, ladies and gentlemen, all right? We want to make sure we keep the muscle on the athlete, especially in wellness. Otherwise, we're going to show up not having the right muscle, not doing well in wellness. <laughs> Go figure, right? So you want to make sure you have the right amount of muscle, and that means keeping the protein high, keeping your calories as high as you can. Your goal on a prep as a wellness athlete 
Eat as much as you possibly can while still getting good results. If you start your prep at a good time frame and you start to dial in and you start to work it down, you should be able to do this at a slower pace, preserve as much muscle as actual possible, and burn body fat, all right? And I know there's a lot of questions about this, that, this diet, high carb, low carb. Let me cover all that for you in just a second. If you're still watching, make sure you sub my channel, please, for me. I got shows free all week for you. Great content, change the game for you. Please do that. And again, if you get anything out of it, a share is great. Screenshot it, put it on your story, tag me at Team Flex. I appreciate it so much. And I'll just know you guys are watching and you're appreciating it. Now keep this content coming for you, all right? Thank you all for being here. Okay, so when we're talking about wellness prep nutrition, we're talking about the fact we want to diet as slow as we can, we want to preserve the muscle mass. Too fast on the diet will mean you're burning muscle faster. All right, no matter what, when you go on a prep, you're gonna burn a little bit of muscle. This just happens when we're in a deficit for a long period of time, it's gonna happen. It's virtually impossible to not burn some lean body mass. And anyone who has a body fat tester, I know you guys are all obsessed with those things and how they work. It, they're not that accurate, okay? They're very inaccurate, honestly. Um, but well, that's a topic for another video. But the point is, you'll know you burn some lean body mass. It's just what happens. It has to happen. It's the damn process of prep, ladies and gents. Now, what doesn't have to happen is burning an accelerated amount of muscle because you're dieting too fast, which is what will happen if you dive too quick into a deficit. And so, you know, keep your protein and take up always eat as much as you possibly can while still getting results and that's honestly the goal for all my competitors all divisions eat as much as you possibly can because again it takes years to build muscle if we burn too much muscle years <laughs> it's literally years I don't care what anybody says it takes years to get quality foundations of muscle you look at the top bodybuilders and top people in any sports they've been training for years and years and years and that's why they look like that they didn't do that in 12 weeks they didn't do that in a year they did it in years all right understand that you do not want to burn muscle, especially in a wellness prep, because you need it. You need that heavy, dominant, lower body muscle. That's one thing you really got to understand, ladies out there. I know a lot of ladies and even coaches are thinking that you can just come in with more body fat on your body in general and on your legs and it makes your legs bigger. No, that's not what the judges want. The judges want to see you have muscle on your lower body, not body fat. You come in with too much body fat on you, it's going to be a problem, all right? And the conditioning, let's talk about this. The conditioning will Wellness is the same as bikini, which is a softer level of conditioning, ladies and gentlemen. Softer is the softest conditioning in the sport of bodybuilding. So wellness and bikini now, right here, at the softest level of conditioning in the sport of bodybuilding. Figure is more conditioned. You know, we look at the men's, uh, men's divisions, all of them are more conditioned. Bikini and wellness are the softest levels of conditioning, which means if you come in too lean, you're in a problem zone. You're gonna get scored down. I don't care what anybody says. I know everybody on Instagram thinks everybody's shredded to the bone. They're not. Go to the stage, sit where the judges sit, look up. Don't look at the filtered photos. Don't look at the photographer photos that make you look more shredded. Look at the damn stage and you'll see what I'm saying. And you know, I talk to top level judges all the time. Sandy Williamson told me this herself. The biggest mistake people make these days is getting photo ready, thinking they need to look at an Instagram photo or photo for um, you know, a competition or their favorite competitor and think, oh, I need that conditioning. No, you don't. You're, that's not what you need to do. You need to get the right conditioning for your division. Don't look at the conditioning that you're seeing in photos. Go to the damn show. Talk to the judges. Get feedback from the judges about your own physique. How about, all right? That's more important. Side note. I'm getting on a tangent there with all that, but that's very relevant for you to understand. Conditioning softer in wellness, all right? And so when it's all wellness prep, we do not need to be doing extreme dieting. We need to be dieting at a slower pace. And you know, I always say a balanced diet is the best type of diet. You guys hear me talk about macro tracking, flexible dieting. I'm not an advocate of meal plans. I don't think that that's the best approach. I wouldn't suggest it. If it works for you, great, but it's short term. It's not gonna work a long time. But you're dieting down. You gotta diet into this, and the best way to really go about it is to be doing that exact thing, preserving your muscle, higher protein, eating whatever foods 
and died in. I want to say this. There's no magical foods, ladies and gentlemen. No magical foods. No magical approaches. No high carb days. No low carb days. None of this keto. No, no you know, none of the paleo. I mean, oh, there's, there's, there's amazing stuff you see. They are in the fad diets, even in the sport of bodybuilding. What you need to do is have the right macros. You know, something that's going to preserve your muscle mass and it's going to let you burn your body fat. And that's what you need to do. I'm an advocate of flexible dieting and that's what I've always been an advocate of. That's what we do with competitors. We do with everybody. Let them choose their foods. Get them ready that way. Now, you might catch yourself in a spot where you end up being ready too far in advance, right? This could happen if things are going well. Maybe you start leaning out too much or something. You know, it shouldn't happen per se if your coaching is working the way it should but I'm going to give you guys a different perspective on how you need to actually do that in a minute but I just want to make this clear there's no magic ladies and gentlemen to dieting it's calories in calories out hitting your macros your proteins your carbs your fats your fibers understand those know what they are hit them with whatever foods you like and you're gonna have a great physique on a wellness stage. I guarantee you, all right? Let's dive in exactly how the later stages of this prep work, what you need to be doing as you get really close to show, and then actually how you dial it in for the best stage look in wellness, all right? Right after this. made it this far check it out check out that free trial go over there you want to compete in wellness let me show you how to train we can talk about nutrition go over posing physique assessment anything you want to do team ffflex.com let's go all right but if you're just here for the video which is crazy because you could get way better experience doing that Here's what we're talking about next. The late stages of prep. What becomes the most important thing, right? We're talking about prep being, you know, 12, 16 weeks. Depends on where you are, what kind of approach you do, all that. Hopefully you did the pre-phases, improvement seasons, like I said, and now you're dieting in. That's what the prep is. You're dieting. So if you've been doing what I said, you know, you kept your protein up high to keep muscle on your body. You diet as slow as you could, ate as much as you possibly could while still getting results. In other words, and you're, you know, been ticking down. You should be ticking down. Overall, your trends might go up and down, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is how fitness works. This is how progress tracking works. Some days you'd be up, some days you'd be down. But what you want to look at over time is the trend. The trend should be moving down. You should be losing body fat as you go along your prep. And as you get, you know, outside the four six week window now you're kind of getting where you're over the hump of halfway through your 12 week and you know it's really time to start getting into that physique you should be really close to your stage physique at that point and i like to get competitors ready in advance not a lot but you know two three weeks out i want them looking pretty much how they're going to look on stage and here's why this, if done correctly in a prep phase, if you had done your pre-phases, you know, your improvement season into your prep and you didn't do it too hard, too fast, should be very easy to put an athlete very comfortably into a close stage physique two, three, four weeks out from stage and be able to know what they're actually looking like. And this gives you time as a coach and as an athlete to improve upon that. And that's really what I call dialing it in. You got more time now to dial it in. I, you know, people always talk about peak week. People always talk about, you know, it's going to be the seven day magical time. Unicorn's going to hop out your ass and you're going to all of a sudden turn into the competitor you're supposed to be. That's not how it works. If you're not very close to stage ready, two, three, four weeks out, depending on the person, you're not ready for that show. Peak week doesn't do anything for you guys. I know a lot of coaches still doing the very old bro science methods and all this garbage diuretics and you know what? I, it doesn't work. It's not going to help you. That's old school shit. Look up the real science. It doesn't work. It won't work. It puts you in a worse spot. You got a coach doing that? <laughs> Get a different coach. Point is, 
If you get ready in advance, now you got time to figure this out. You got time to see what you look like. What can you improve on? What areas can you target a little bit more right now? What things could you change? Maybe it's time for a little bit up in other calories, right? Maybe you need to fill out the muscles more because actually they're looking a little too lean at this point. Or, you know, all these things. It's better to be ready in advance. It makes the last bit of prep the easiest part of prep, which is what I always say. You know, the hard part of prep becomes in the beginning. Really, when you get your tires rolling and you're starting this new journey, that's when it's hard. Getting that routine, getting everything done. The final phases of prep should be a breeze, easy. You've already been doing it. You know, if you did it right, you shouldn't be miserable. You should not be suffering. You should not be dying. You should not be doing two, three hours of cardio a day, doing all this other stuff. You should be simply sitting in to your physique and ready to rock. All right. And getting ready in advance, again, it could be two weeks out, three weeks out, four weeks out. It all depends on the person. But what matters the most is that you're ready in advance. And I say that to you out here as something you should strongly consider as a wellness competitor. Get your ready in advance see where you're at you got good times now you could do some refeeds you might up the calories sometimes I do this with competitors where I bring them close to show and I see where they're at and I'm like okay we're good we're gonna actually up your food now all the way through show I'm gonna give you more protein more carbs more fats I'm gonna keep feeding you up we're gonna actually build it up now because we're at the right level of leanness we're gonna start a little pre-stage reverse diet and make you look even better right this gives you time to look even better it's almost like you can get feedback on your stage physique before you even stepped on stage if your coach knows what they're doing all right and I do my best to stay very very on top of what all the judges are doing out there what they want to see and what they want to be doing and again when we talk about wellness we cover it all. That's what it is. Lower body dominant muscle, bikini level conditioning, bikini upper body muscle. Boom, hit the stage. Not a hardcore prep, ladies and gentlemen. Always eat as much as you can. You know, get your protein high, keep your calories high, dial it in near the end phases of your prep. If you did everything right, you did it correctly, you didn't overdo cardio, you trained good with weights the entire time, stayed heavy, got a good recovery, did all these things. You know, your nutrition you stayed on top of with your macros and everything I've already told you, then you're in a good spot. And if you get two, three weeks out and you're looking ready, you're in an even better spot. Now you got time to dial it in perfectly. And I can tell you, if you do this, if you actually do it, you'll place better than you would have. I guarantee you. That's because that's really what it comes down to. At the end of the day, on a wellness prep, we're talking about just nutrition. Tomorrow, we'll dive into a little bit more of the wellness training. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you got anything out of it, please share it. Help me out. That's why I appreciate it, all right? Thank you all for watching. Again, if anybody needs help with anything, training, wellness, any of that, any other division, you're just watching this, I don't know, go over to my website, teamffleax.com. We do it for free. As I give back to you, a free seven-day trial. No obligations, no cards, nothing. You can take it, you can rip me off, leave, and I'll know you're doing better, which makes me happy, all right? Thanks for watching Team Flex TV, Protein Power. I'm Ryan Milton. See you tomorrow.